Hello and welcome to the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider, the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Brywell alongside Darren Schoenrock. And Coach, a really good weekend for you uh, in Tampa, Florida. You get your first road series win. You get your first American uh, series win. You improved to 3-3 three and three in the league as you knock off USF 2 out of 3. Yeah, they were, uh, you know, they're, they're a young club. Uh, they're, they're young on the position side. We're a little bit younger on the, on the mound side. But I thought our guys played played the game cleanly, uh, pretty efficient defensively for the most part. We had a couple of blunders that hurt us on Sunday, but uh, very happy with the series win on the road, especially in this in this conference, as tough as it is. Colton, you, you mix up the lineup a little bit, move Shrike on to the leadoff, Darian at number two, Colton Neal starts every game in left field, you put Grudzlonic back to short, Turner at second. The, the lineup change seemed to work out pretty well for you. Colton got his first career home run Friday night. Uh, the middle infielders worked pretty well together. Yeah, they did. they didn't have a lot of tough plays, and uh, there's there's you know what we're trying to do is get as offensive as mm -hmm. we can early, and then uh, you know maybe try to play defense the second half of the game if you have a lead, and and you can do different things against righties and lefties with this team. We're we're learning a little bit more about the the splits and the matchups and, and what our best chances are against different pitching, and and that's what it called for this weekend. And you know we feel like Colton's going to be a great player. Uh, I still think Chris Carrier is a phenomenal player too. Uh, just trying to maybe give him a little break and let him breathe. He's still one of the one of the leading hitters on the team, and and uh, just hit a tough spell. But but Colton filled in nicely. How about Nolan Blackwood? Got his uh, career record twenty second save over the weekend. Yeah, that was really neat. You know, I, I actually I didn't get to see it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I was in the parking lot. But uh, the the uh, the career Nolan's had has been has just been phenomenal. Somebody that's been you know spent his whole career in relief. Uh, we knew when we signed him and we recruited him, he was going to be, you know, a reliever. We didn't know he'd be a true closer as a freshman. That's a, that's a pretty difficult role to assume as a true freshman. But he's filled in and and picked up right where Jonathan Van Eaton left off and has actually exceeded that. And you know, Nolan's got a lot of baseball ahead of him in his career and his future. But we're excited about him being uh, in the Tiger record books. To wrap it up with these two teams, th this could be a pretty pretty intense series in the next few years because, as you mentioned, they're, they're young in the lineup. You're kind of young on the mound, so they're going to develop together over the next three years. They are. They are. And that, that's a great place to play. Uh, uh, Mark does a phenomenal job, has done a phenomenal job, and in, in it's now in his second year there. Um, you know, wonderful venue, just a, you know, good good fans. It gets a little rowdy there. It's, it's a good environment. So. Another one of the stops in, in the American Athletic Conference that's, that's really committed to baseball, and, and it makes this league a lot of fun. Things are going to get busy now. You had a few rainouts early in the year, so you're only having to play four games a week most of the time now. It looks like five games a week for the majority of the second half of the season. You started off tonight with Austin P at home. Been a, you know, been a long series through the years it's, that's really uh, been tough for Memphis. Austin P's played very well. They're, they're, uh, they're one of the one of the top programs in their conference in the OVC and, and uh, we had a good success against them up there at their place and it's a series that typically will will get them at home two years and then the third year go on the road and catch them somewhere either there or, or even Millington or Jackson but uh, this is the time to, to take advantage of them having to come to us I, you know we got to get back and play play well at home very very veteran lineup they're hitting over 300 as a team they've only got one guy in the starting lineup below 300 mm -hmm. uh, built offensive a lot of juniors and seniors that have played together you know they'll be a lot older team than we are uh, and and but you know hopefully taking advantage of us being at home john john bowling will get it get his fourth start i believe as a true freshman and and you'll see but just about every one of our starts now in the midweek down the stretch are going to be true freshmen so uh you know Growth experience opportunities, but also, you know, challenge to the team that they've got to go play behind whoever's pitching, and, and they will. You know, it'll be a big challenge for John John, uh, but hopefully we can match them hit for hit and run for run. And then you get out of Mississippi State on a Wednesday night, and that's a place you've had some success the last two trips. One or last two down there. You know, we, we have a series going now where it's every other year. So one year at, at, in Memphis, the next year at start a little different than the old Miss uh, uh, agreement that we have and we've won our last two trips to start real so and then one last year at AutoZone yeah. so it's uh it's it's we've got a little bit upper hand they're number two in the country right now and playing well uh they're dominating in the SEC and in, in, in what they people feel like is the best league in the country uh so they're a little bit they're built a little different this year than they, than they were last year and, and they you know they were a team last year that I think actually finished maybe below 500 uh so what a difference a year makes with them they, they've gotten a year older 
their position player team was all back from last year. So it would be a big challenge, but our guys have really stepped up and played well there. And I expect us to now, too. You got East Carolina this weekend at FedEx Park. If you look at the conference standings, everything's still very much bunched up. I think Cincinnati's 4-2 and two in first place. Uh, USF's in last at 2-4. and four, So basically just a two-game separation from first to last. Right yeah, now. it'll be that way, I think, Jeff, the whole eight weekends. I think you'll see very little separation at, you know, at the end. One, because we don't play very many games. Yeah. It's hard to create separation. And two, the, the, the teams are so, so balanced and so even. Uh, there's not very many series sweeps, very few. Uh, you'll, see, uh, you'll see separation happen, and then teams will close. Uh, East Carolina does return two very good weekend, pitching, weekend pitchers, much like uh, we had in 2013 when we had Sam and Eric and lefties Friday, Saturday. They've got two lefties that are dominating now at a high level and our high strikeout guys like Sam and Eric were. So it would be a big challenge for our offense to, 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 you know, to win one of the first two and, and, and push that thing to Sunday to, with a chance to win a series. It's all about winning series now. You can't get swept at home. You got to win series at home. You know, we feel like we stole one on the road mm -hmm. this weekend to make up for losing a series at home. So, uh, big challenge, and, and, uh, but, but that's what this league is. All right, Coach, we'll see you at the ballpark. Thanks, Jeff. Hey, Coach Darren Schoenrock. I'm Jeff Brightwell for the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network.